How do I fix it? I don't know. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons Delight. Let's talk about it, man. Up then in void. Up then in void. First off, I want to say it's great for Chicago PD to be back, man. <clears throat> this episode was terrific. I think it was one of the best episodes they ever made in the series. And it, and it shows you how important Upton is really to the show. And the fact that they're going to be losing her. I'm like, how is that even possible that they're going to be losing her? You know what I mean? Like, she's so important to the show. I mean... And it seems like all of her centric show, her centric episodes are some of the best that they've ever made. And, you know, they go into real deep storytelling. Her character development has been, like, great. Just seeing, like, how her character has just, just slowly, like, dissolved away, you know, ever since Jay left her. Really ever since the uh, Ward Walton case. I will say that was the start of it. It really wasn't just when Jay left. That that probably like ascended it a little bit, but it was really the Ward Walton case. Like ever since then, she's just been a descending. Uh, she's been so deep into her work and all of that stuff, and you know, not having really a life of her own. You know, um, so there was a scene right before the end where Atwater offered her, you know, to go out get some drinks or whatever, and she was like, Nah, you know. I forgot what she said she was going to do. Um, maybe just go back home. But she uh, declined the offer. And in my opinion, I don't think she should have declined it. I think she needs something. She needs something to distract from what's going on in her life. Like she's got this divorce going on with Jay. And you could tell when Voight was talking to her even earlier in the episode. Like he had changed the subject on it, right? So they were talking about the case um, in the office. And then he immediately switched it to the divorce papers that she wasn't like, she was so zoned out that she was like, what? You know, like it's like she even want to talk about it. And, you know, and, and, and I think that's when Boy figured it out. You know, let, let me try to talk to her, you know. So later on the episode, it looked like Haley moved to a new apartment. It looked like a studio apartment because I didn't see any bedrooms or anything like that. But it was a nice looking apartment, though. It's, it's just her, you know. Um, but she moved into a little studio apartment and, you know, and she dressed it up real nice and stuff like that, but she still had some boxes laying around. I don't know if she just moved there or, um, if she just moved there or she just been having the boxes around cause she barely home. So she really ain't taking the time to, you know, get everything completely out of every box. I ain't gonna lie. I, I remember I was, when I first moved into my place, my first place. I had the boxes still sitting around for like years. Like the, I think I was at my first place like for six years or something like that, and the, and the boxes were still sitting in my house. Like not all of them. It was like maybe four, four or five of them that was still sitting there, and stuff like that. And I was just too lazy to go through them, and uh, and that's why when, when I moved again, man, I, I didn't. I lived much smaller. Like I didn't really have a lot of stuff with me, man, because. A lot of the stuff that I had was junk. You know, it was stuff that I was never going to miss, never going to really. I could probably go a whole five years without looking at it and didn't even know I had it. You know, it was that sort of thing. Like, and a lot of people have unnecessary stuff in their house, man. But, and I was just like, man, you know what? I don't need all this stuff, man. I was talking to a friend about it and I was like, I don't need all this shit, man. You know what I mean? And so. Cause like when I moved, I didn't. I, I had at first I put everything in storage, and then when it was time for me to move, I lived out of. I basically lived out of a suitcase, bro. So I didn't even need. The only thing I needed was like my computer, stuff like that, and so some other things I had to buy when I moved, like a t new TV, microwave, little stuff like that, vacuum cleaner, you know, little stuff that you need, pots and pans for the kitchen. But like the other stuff, man, I didn't even need it, bro. I didn't even need it because I, I was living a few years of out that stuff. I was living out of a briefcase for a few years, bro. So I was like, I didn't even need this stuff, bro. You know, it was just so unnecessary, man. 
So I was kind of like just picturing how my life was at one point. And I was like, damn, man, I'm kind of like Haley, man. I had like boxes stacked everywhere too. Because I, like, I, I'm a workaholic like she is, but I, I put myself in my, into my work, bro, into my business, man. So I, I, I understand her, bro. But yeah, man. Um, anyways, man. So Voight came over and, you know, he was trying to see what was up with her. And, and uh, I think he came, you know, he came uninvited. But, uh, you know, Haley wasn't really expecting him, but he, he kind of barged himself in anyways and kind of talked about the whole thing and the, the source of everything. And for the first time, really, I'm going to be honest with y'all, for the first time, I think since Jay left, she really opened up a little more. Because I don't even know if she opened up like that with Burgess, you know, um, to be honest with y'all. Like, she really opened up a lot more. Like, she, it was like she was asking for help, you know, like, how do I get out of this, you know? Um, the situation that I'm in. So she was kind of asking for help from, you know, from Voight and stuff like that. And it was just a nice scene, man. It, it was an awesome scene. And and, 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 she, and I've always said, she's like the, it's almost like a female version of Voight, you know, uh, very cutthroat, um, into her work, you know, same kind of issues, you know, like with the family and stuff like that. Like it's, it's almost non-existent or, you know, just not, like, like their personal lives are probably just nothing, right? Like, they don't really have a personal life to speak of um, and stuff like that. So, they're kind of, like, closely to the chest. And the one thing that I wanted to end this video with was talking about with Upton because I think she's become, like I said, a very important part of the show. With her leaving at the end of the season, I'm just like, okay, first of all, how are you going to write her off? I hope they don't kill her off because... But... I think if they know if she's never going to come back, if she just told them, like, I'm never coming back, the killer off, like, I bet that, I bet if they went back in time, I bet they wish they would have killed off Sophia uh, Bush's character and Aaron Lindsay. Uh, I bet you they really wish they would have did that. Because they don't sound like she come back anytime soon. Like, uh, how long has she been off the show for about six, seven years now, Aaron Lindsay? I think it's been about six, seven years. So, you know. Um, I think Halstead, the way they wrote him off was good because I, I, I think, I think he's going to be on there before the end of the season, at least once. I think he's going to be on there. Maybe the season finale. We'll see. A lot. I know a lot of fans are hoping that they're, they're, they're having this happy ending. We saw it last year on Chicago Med last year with, uh, Will and, uh, what's her name? Uh, damn, I forgot her name, man. But you know, the girl that he was with, um, Natalie, uh, he was with Natalie the end of the season so they had a proper goodbye but uh i don't i don't you know like i said i don't know how they're gonna write her off and how does chicago pd with her being so important how does she how do they just replace her you know what i mean like it's gonna be tough because i always say that whenever the day void leaves it's gonna be tough too but i i think Upton's become almost more important than he is you know, and, and I don't know, man. Like, I don't know how they're going to do it. I, I really don't. But the thing is, I got faith because the show is so good. I got faith that they're going to do everything right, you know, and, and they're going to survive not having her on the show. I, I, I wish she wasn't leaving just yet. I, I wish she could have put in maybe uh, at le least got Chicago PD to like the like a like to the 20th season or something, you know, and then left. You know, I, I wish she wouldn't have left now. Uh, I, I, I still think she's rather too important, but we'll see, man, what's going on with that. Let me get y'all thoughts on this whole thing, man. It's going to be a very interesting season with this whole thing. I think all of the up to centric episodes are going to be just super important to pay attention to this year because knowing that she's going to be written out at the end of the season, it's going to be very interesting, man. But uh, go on ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. I love all y'all, man. After news to like.